Shout out to the supporters. We on the road to 30K subscribers. If you're new, please like and subscribe to the channel. Damn it, fuck. Now everybody know about quality control selling for 300 million. Now, I looked in the picture, and I'm like, okay, there go Pierre, there go Coach K, there go Scooter Brown. But who is this guy? Yeah, this guy right here, who is this guy? So I went to Wikipedia. I said, let's find out who this guy is. So this guy's name is Bang. Is it known professionally as Hitman Bang? Now, he is a South Korean lyricist, composer, producer, and record executive. He is the founder of Big Hit Music, formerly Big Hit Entertainment and Hype Corporation. And he is the chairman of the latter. Now he is the owner of Hype Music, the company that bought QC. Now, I looked into Hype Music. Let's dig a little deeper. Hype Music is a Korean company. Hitman Bang is a Korean guy. Hype Music made $1.2 trillion. Let me say that again. Hype Music made $1.2 trillion and netted billion dollars so a lot of money come through hop music some of the biggest acts in asia are signed to hop music so i said girl and i said okay well let's talk about scooter brown because a lot of people don't know who scooter brown is let's talk about who scooter brown is so i went to wikipedia scooter brown is an american entrepreneur investor entertainment executive and known for being a manager of ariana grande and justin beaver Demi Nevado. So he he's a manager. This being a manager of Justin Bieber is enough, right? He got his own record label, SB Records, School Boy Records. Now, he is the CEO of Hive America. Hive America is a subsidiary of Hive Corporation, was a South Korean company, right? So he the head man over here in America running things. So that's why he in the picture with Coach K, PL, and Hitman Bang because he the one made everything possible. He was the connector between the two, right? Now the deal is 300 mil. And I think some stock options is with that because Hive Corporation is on the stock market. So they get some stock options with the deal, with the money or whatever. Now, this is not unusual. Record labels buy other record labels all the time. You seen one of the brothers buy 300, which QC used to be signed 300 one time. Then later signed a deal for 300. That's crazy, right? But they did this big thing about this, posting it up on social media, doing interviews, to let the other record labels out there know that Hitman Bang got a bag. And he got Scooter Brown running the American side of things. To let them know, if you win the sale, we gonna buy. So don't be surprised if you see them standing somewhere next to some of your favorite executives because they don't bought their stuff up. People out here selling their music rights. People out here selling their labels. Man, it's crazy out here now. Everything getting sold. Everything got a price tag on it these days. Now, as far as Asian companies buying American companies, that's not new either. If you look at Hollywood, a lot of Chinese companies don't win about studios and stuff. Another thing I want to tell y'all. If you're interested in subsidiaries, which I'm, it's hard for me to say that word, Look up Sony. How many of y'all got a PlayStation? Look up Sony subsidiaries. That shit will blow your mind. Yeah, you see you see Sony roll on your PlayStation, right? Yeah, you probably seen Sony roll on your television. Yep, you probably seen Sony at the bottom of Beyonce music. Yep, you probably seen that woman with the Columbia holding a torch at your favorite movie when it come on. Yep, that's Sony too. Sony own a lot of stuff. And that's a Japanese company. But let me know how you feel, man. I just want to let everybody know who the real boss is and who not on QC. So next time Baby drop an album, man, he might have to reach out to Hitman Bane, man. He might have to reach out to Scooter Braun. You know, I'm joking. But let me know how you feel. I am, a.k.a. Bands Support This TV. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. You haven't already. My peace.